वेलकम एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द क्राइटेरिया फॉर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड नॉन फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एन एम आर स्पेक्ट्रा नॉन फर्स्ट ऑर्डर स्पेक्ट्रा मे बी नोन एज सेकंड ऑर्डर स्पेक्ट्रा लेट अस सी वट इज द क्राइटेरिया फॉर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड नॉन फर्स्ट ऑर्डर स्पेक्ट्रा फर्स्ट वी सी द क्राइटेरिया फॉर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर पी एम आर स्पेक्ट्रा इन फर्स्ट ऑर्डर स्पेक्ट्रा द सिग्नल स्प्रिटिंग takes place due to vicinal and geminal coupling and it obeys n plus 1 rule where n is the number of non equivalent adjacent protons the second criteria is that in first order spectra the signals are symmetric near midpoint and the relative intensities of multiplets are as per pascal's triangle this is triplet this is quartet in case of triplet signal split into three lines in case of quartet signal split into four lines relative intensities for triplet it is 1 to 2 to 1 and for quartet it is 1 to 3 to 3 to 1 that relative intensities are determined with the help of pascal's triangle and in first order spectra relative intensities are as per pascal's triangle and signals are symmetric near midpoint the third criteria is that in first order spectra the chemical shift difference that is delta nu in hertz is six times greater than the relative coupling constant j j is the distance between two peaks within the multiplet and that distance is always constant known as coupling constant there are these two multiplets are there this is a doublet distance between two peaks is coupling constant this is quartet distance between two peaks is the coupling constant and the difference between chemical shift in hertz is delta nu and in case of first order spectra delta nu by j is greater than 6 this is the very important criteria for first order spectra the fourth criteria is that in first order spectra the protons are equally coupled with another group of protons next criteria is that the spin systems for first order spectra are designated as ax ax2 amx etc in alphabet the distance between a and x is greater therefore their chemical shifts are considered to be different and therefore such systems are designated like this and the last criteria is that the first order spectra are very simple in nature and can be easily predictable now we see the criteria for non first order spectra or second order spectra the first criteria is that in non first order spectra the signal splitting occurs due to vicinal geminal and long range coupling and may or may not obey the n plus 1 rule for splitting the maximum number of lines in multiplet is 2 raised to n that is the maximum number of lines in multiplet sometimes overlapping of signal may takes place in non first order spectra the second criteria is that in non first order spectra the signals are not symmetric near the midpoint and multiplets relative intensities are not as per pascal's triangle in case of second order spectra instead of triplet sometimes double doublet is observed in the spectra that is it not obeys n plus 1 rule the third criteria is that in non first order spectra the chemical shift difference delta nu in hertz is six times less than relative coupling constant that is delta nu is less than 6j this is the important criteria for non first order spectra in in this case this is a doublet and this is a quartet and the distance between two signals the chemical shift difference delta nu divided by the coupling constant j it is 
less than six, therefore it is a non-first order spectra. In case of first order spectra, delta nu by j is greater than six, but in case of non-first order spectra, it is less than six. That is the important criteria for first order and non-first order spectra. Then the fourth criteria is that in non-first order spectra, the protons are not equally coupled with another group of protons. The coupling between two set of protons is not same. Therefore, it not obeys the n plus 1 rule. The fifth criteria is that the spin systems are designated as AB, AB2, ABC, etc. In alphabets, AB, ABC letters are nearer to each other. That indicates their chemical shift values are comparable or nearer to each other. And such type of system shows non-first order spectra. The sixth criteria is that the non-first order spectra are complex in nature and cannot be easily predictable. For that purpose, non-first order spectra is simplified and converted into first order spectra and then its interpretation is done. Now see the examples for first order and non-first order spectra. The simple example, the spectra of ethyl bromide. In case of ethyl bromide, there are two set of protons, methyl group protons and methylene group protons. Methyl group protons are designated as A, methylene group protons are designated as B. In this case, proton HA couples with proton HB and the coupling between a and B is equal for all protons. HA and HB coupling is same. That HA and that HB coupling is also same. That is, as coupling is same, the spectra exhibits first order spectra. And according to N plus 1 rule, CH2 group protons gives quartet in the spectra, which is at downfield, and methyl group protons gives triplet in the spectra which is at upfield that is the simple spectra and in case of first order spectra signals are clearly seen therefore they can be easily predictable in that case delta nu by j is greater than 6 and it exhibits first order spectra in case of non first order spectra for example spectra of ethylene bromide ch2 double bond chbr in that case, instead of two set of protons, there are three set of protons, HA, HB, HC. Why there are three set of protons? Because the coupling of that two group pro protons, CH2 protons, is not same with that methane group protons. The coupling of HA with HC, it is a cis coupling, while coupling of HB with HC is the trans coupling. And as coupling is different, HA and HB have different coupling constant, the spectra shows non-first order spectra and the signals obtained are like this. For HC group of proton, it first couples with HA and then it couples with HB. Therefore, signal split into four times and the double doublet is observed in the spectra. Similarly, for HA and HB also, double doublets are seen and but their chemical shift values are very nearer to each other. Therefore, all these signals are grouped together. And such type of complex pattern is seen for the spectra of ethylene bromide. In that case, H A J of AC, coupling of A and C and coupling of B and C is not same. And in this case also, delta nu by J is less than 6. Therefore, this is the non-first order spectra. These are the criteria for first order and non-first order that is second order spectra. Thanks for watching this video.